Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to solve weekly contest triple four problems. So let's get started with question number one. Minimum pair removal to sort array one. Okay. So in this problem, we have given an array nums. You can perform the following operation any number of times. We have to select the adjacent pair with the minimum sum in nums. And if multiple such pairs exist, we have to choose the left most one we have to replace the pair with their sum then we have to return the minimum number of operations needed to make the array non-decreasing okay an array is said to be non-decreasing if each element is greater than or equal to its previous element if it exists okay now see this example number one this is my nums array okay five two three one all right so here uh, if you calculate the summation of all the adjacent uh, values here, so 5, 2 is 7, 3, 2 is 5, okay, and 3, 1 is a 4, okay, so out of these uh, 7, 5, and 4, 4 is minimum, okay, so here I am just going to uh, take this pair, 3, 1, okay, so this has the minimum value of 4, so after replacement, my num set is going to look like this, 5, 2, and here I am writing 4, okay. Then again, 5, 2 is 7, uh, 2, 4 is 6. So out of this, uh, 6 is minimum. So here, I am just going to change it to 5, 6. Okay. So here in this, if you see, uh, this is an increasing order, right? So this is what we need to do. Okay. So if my array becomes in increasing order, then in that case, we have to stop and we have to just calculate the number of operations that we did. So here, first we combine this 3, 1 and then we combine this 2, 4. So two operations we did. So that is why output is 2. Okay and these are the constant size okay it's very small that is why this problem is of easy level okay now how you guys are going to solve it okay so let me first give you the hint okay what you need to do so do one thing uh, this is array given to us right so we have to combine the two values then we have to delete one index so it's good now if we use the array list for that okay so just one create one list okay and in this list just add all the elements five 2, 3, and 1. Okay. So this is my list. Right. So now after that, also create one function. Okay. Let's suppose there is one helper method which is going to help us in deciding whether our nums array uh, is increasing order or not. Okay. So that particular uh, method is going to check if in my array all the elements are in increasing order or not. Okay. So if all the elements are in increasing order, then it is going to return me true otherwise it is going to return me false okay so now i am going to run one while loop and in while loop i will always check so as soon as my array becomes in increasing order right i have to stop right so what i am going to do i am going to run one while loop and inside this while loop i will just calculate the summation of all these okay so seven four here five and here uh four okay so whenever i get the minimum sum i will just store that index okay so if i start pairing from this okay to this then at this particular index uh, we have the minimum sum okay so i will just take that okay i will get that particular index where i get the maximum okay so one time my i is starting from here okay then next time my i is starting from here then next time my i is starting from here okay so here we get the minimum sum right so now once i get this index okay where i am getting the minimum sum okay okay of a pair right so after that i will just merge my i with i plus one okay with this i plus one value okay so i this is nothing but a value okay so that is nothing but three here and this is nothing but here i'm talking about values okay and here this is nothing but one okay so i'm going to merge it four and i'm going to store this four at this particular index okay and i'm just going to remove this so you can use list dot remove index plus one and list dot add the combined value that's it and then again in the while loop i will check whether my array becomes sorted or not and side by side i am also going to increment the operations all right so now let's see the code so here first i am creating one list okay and then i am just going to add all the elements in the list then here i am checking the operations and here i am calling this is non decreasing method okay so here if you see this helper function is going to check if the list is non decreasing so here i am just going to iterate over all the elements and here i am just going to check if the list dot get element at i 
is less than this dot get i minus one that simply means it is not an increasing order then simply done false okay otherwise we are going to return true okay so it is just going to check if the list is non decreasing okay so here if the list is non decreasing then we enter it to by, by loop then here i am taking one variable mean sum integer dot max value and in initially i my i'm setting the index to minus one okay then after that i am going to find the leftmost pair with the minimum sum all right so here i am just going to run one for loop and here i am getting the minimum sum okay so wherever my minimum sum is there i will just pick that index okay so find the leftmost pair with the minimum sum so for that i am just going to find out the index okay then we have to merge the pair so merged value is equal to list dot get index index plus one right and then uh, list dot set okay at that particular index we are going to set this value new value and i am going to remove the index plus one and i am incrementing the operations that's it okay so you will be able to pass the solution okay so i hope that you guys are clear with question number one of weekly code test triple four if you like this video please uh, share this with your friends and please subscribe to my youtube channel for more weekly contest questions thank you bye bye